We're into a new year and we're into the Matthew Mitchell Show. I'm Christy Thomas alongside the coach. Thanks for joining us into a new year 2014. And coach, we're getting ready to embark on an SEC schedule and to finish out the non-conference portion of your schedule, you took on Grambling State. Yeah, it was the final chance for us in non-conference play to get prepared for SEC play and had a big win, Christy. Everybody played really hard, scored a bunch of points. Uh, had some kids really have big days, but Bria Galls had a career high with 23 points, had a bunch of players in double figures, and just uh, really played hard. Uh, the press got going some. We had a plus 20 in the turnover margin, so it was a good day for us. And now, you know, 12 and 1 in the non conference schedule really sets us up. Uh, puts us in great position to have a successful conference season. Something you were looking for at, at, during that game as you get ready for your SEC schedule, something you wanted to see happen? Yeah, we were trying to move the ball a little bit better than we did in the Duke game. We had a, a poor uh, offensive uh, showing in the Duke game, and, and we wanted to try to take a step forward there against his own off uh, defense, and then uh, wanted to try to sharpen our press up going into league play. Look good. Well, you're going to take on Alabama, head on the road January 2nd, and then uh, get going for a 16-game schedule. It's always tough. It'll be a tough league schedule, but it's the greatest conference in the country, and we're really excited to be playing in it and trying to push toward a championship. Looks good. Well, we she is another fantastic freshman on Kentucky's roster, and she's on Coach Mitchell's 30-second shot clock. 30 second shot clock this week. Welcome in everybody. It's time to introduce you to a brand new Wildcat freshman from Lebanon, Kentucky. Kyle and Good Rogers. How are you doing? I'm good. You know, a little on fact here, Kyle, and one of your best qualities is your smile. Let's see it. <laughs> hey, I told you. Isn't that a great smile? That's a great smile. Are you enjoying life here at Kentucky? I am. Having a good time. Great bunch of teammates. They all seem to like you a lot. I tell you what, I don't know if you're cracking. Are you cracking jokes back in the locker room or something? No. They all say that you have a lot of personality. What's what's going on back in that locker room? I don't crack jokes. You don't? No. Well, they say they say you're a very humorous young lady. Let's talk about your basketball career. How old were you when you started? About five. Get out of town. Upward. Five years old? Quite upward. Upward basketball. I love it. Could you even hold the ball? Were you big enough to hold the ball? I couldn't chew gum and dribble at the same time. You could not chew gum and dribble at the same time. Now you can. You get that two ball handling drill and you We'll have to get you a stick of gum, see if you can chew gum and do that at the same time. Sound good? Sound good. All right, so now there's a, been a couple of questions people have for you. You've been from Marion County. They want to know, do you know the Turtle Man? I don't know the Turtle Man. Are you on first name basis with Turtle Man? No, I see him all the time though, to be honest. So he really does exist. He's not just some cartoon character that lives out in Hollywood. He really is. You He's see him. He's far from Hollywood. He's not Hollywood. No. Turtle Man's not Hollywood. Okay, last question here. Your good buddy, McKaylee Upps, y'all won a state championship together and played together a long time. Y'all playing here at Kentucky now. She likes Luke Bryan. Who do you like the best? Luke Bryan? Chris Young. Chris Young. Would you like for me I to? Think Neon, like they always leap. I like you like that. Yeah. Let's give a double fist bump. <laughs> That's Kyle and Good Rogers. I'm Coach Mitchell, and this has been a 30 second shot clock. So, Coach Kyvin's taking a year off, a medical red shirt. How's she doing? Physically? She's doing well, and you know it was a real shock to Kyvin to have the blood clot and. And uh, she's really tried to work hard and work her way through that. It's just something really hard for a freshman to handle. So she's bounced back nicely and uh, has a very, very bright future ahead. And we're so glad she's at Kentucky. And she's been able to practice a little bit as well too now. Yeah, she's getting out and getting some shots up and doing some different things. And so uh, I think that uh, she will start to round into shape very shortly. We look forward to seeing her in a Wildcat uniform next year. Well, of course, Wait. it's Coach and Young Niche <laughs> giving some shout outs on the Guitar Tip of the Week. That's coming up next. Stay with us. The Matthew Mitchell Show is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford, by Window World, by McDonald's, by Kennedy's Wildcat Den, by Central Bank, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by P-Rats, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by UK Healthcare, and by Commonwealth Credit Union. Open E. Whoa! Come in, everybody. It's a dressed up edition of Guitar Tip of the Week. Hold on. Wait. Wait for it. Ah! Happy New Year, everybody. 
We're firmly entrenched in 2014. I'm your host, Coach Mitchell, joined by the likable, the learned, the lean, the laudable, and the law-abiding. You haven't broken any laws, have you? Shooting guard from our nation's capital, Bernice Pink. Young niece, what's happening? Nothing much, Coach. Young niece, Southeastern Conference play begins this week. It is your last go-round in the league. Your thoughts? Right. It's time for Ask Young Niche, and the question this week is from Barbara Sears, who wants to know, Young Niche, what group did Phil Collins used to sing with? Yes. On to the shout-outs! I like it, Phil Collins, don't you? Talother in Anchorage, Alaska. Young Niche, guess who's written in? Our, one of the most faithful uh, viewers of all time of the Matthew Mitchell Show, Sanja K. Taylor. She's down in Lee, Virginia. She's got 50. Teen kids down there. And listen, she was going to come up to the big game and rut, but she couldn't because of little Danton Sailor. He's seven. Out. Can you believe little Danton is seven? I can't. It's unbelievable. He had the old tonsils out. We hope you feel better, Danton. Come see us soon to Cindy Block in Louisville, Kentucky, who has a question for Coach Mitchell. Do you see that Facebook page <laughs> at the bottom of the screen? Yes? No, you don't. Not funny, Cindy Block. Take it away, young niece. To me, my house in Lexington, Kentucky. Yes, who I saw at the game last Sunday, young niece. Who? Me, my house. She wanted to know where you were. Where, where were you? Probably somewhere in the locker room. Okay, keep going. To Matt, Kim, Caroline, and Megan Quinn in Huntsville, Alabama. It's a beautiful area. You ever been there? No. Beautiful. They are huge UK Hoops fans, and they watch the show every week. Can they you believe that there's actually somebody that watches the show every week? I can. Okay. They love Young Niche. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And what? They love Young Niche uh -huh. and think Young Niche is awesome. Did you put that into the script? Or I did those, not. Did those people really say that? I'm pretty sure they said okay, that. Okay, continue on. To Kathy in Florence, Kentucky. Florence, y'all. Oh, back, back. <laughs> we're back with Kathy from Florence. Go ahead. And yes, Kathy, Coach Mitchell is often lost on the good saw tip, and I have to coach him every week. Wait a minute. Somebody's um, fooling around with these scripts. Are you sure you're having to coach me? Go ahead. <laughs> And to everybody's favorite uncle, Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallatin, Tennessee. Happy New Year, Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay. We love them, don't we? Yes. T-shirt goes to little dad and Sailor Lee. Had his tonsils out. Tanja Kay, now send us your info in. Now don't write in for all, all those little kids down there that you got. You just, we're just sending, sending one to Danton. You said Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. You want to shout out on the Guitar Tip of the Week? You write into that Facebook page. We'll shout you out. And that's the Guitar Tip of the Week. <laughs> We're happy to welcome back one of the best sharpshooters ever to play at Kentucky and one of the best interns we've ever had on the show. Coaches catching up with Keela Snowden in the Big Blue Cat Corner. The Big Blue Cat Corner brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in everybody to Big Blue Cat Corner. I'm so happy and excited to be joined by Keela Snowden who was a great member of our program and a big member of the Matthew Mitchell Show. So, Keela, welcome back. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad you're here, and I can remember when you came to Kentucky, you were really thought of as just a shooter yeah. and a great shooter. And what I was always so impressed with was your development as a total player. I can remember the greatest play I can remember you making was running down that kid from Wisconsin Green Bay oh and saving God. our hopes to go to the Sweet 16. And then you made the game-winning shot. It really showed you being a complete player. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that, that process at Kentucky. Yeah, well, Kentucky was great, obviously. I had a great time. The girls will forever be considered my sisters and my teammates. And I don't know, I guess the development was tough at first, you know, going through it as a player, but being able to overcome so many obstacles here and then becoming that complete player meant a lot to me. And I'll always have that memory like to live with, you know. Just a lot of hard work in the yeah. environment every day pushed you to be a, a complete player. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Well you certainly were. So now it's exciting. You have you did so much for us on this show and <laughs> were such a big part of the show and helped its popularity. And so now uh, you've sort of transitioned into maybe uh, something that the show helped you get into. Oh, you're yeah, you're going to do some TV work and some acting work. Tell us about moving to Los Angeles. Yeah, and, so I've moved to well, LA area, Pasadena. And right now I've been pursuing acting. Um, I signed up with a company who does background acting and gets extras for a lot of TV mm -hmm. shows. And that's been a lot of fun. Um, I guess branching out yeah. of the more hosting and television side into the more acting and kind of trying to create a, that art and 
get better every day at that. So did the time in front of the camera the Matthew Mitchell show, it didn't hurt anything? No, did definitely not. I feel way more comfortable in front of the camera now. I feel like I'm actually talking to a person. Yeah. It's definitely helped prepare me. That's great. Well, you yeah. did a great job for us here as a player. You're a great student here. You're a great member of the Matthew Mitchell show. <laughs> it's so good to see you. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah. It's Keila Snowden. She'll always be a member of UK Hoops. And have, me, have me anytime. We will. <laughs> well, especially if it's a good paying job, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keila Snowden, I'm Coach Mitchell's Big Blue Cat Point. That's right. Hell. Coach and Jenna are in the kitchen helping you get a healthy diet off to a good start in the new year. The Coach's Kitchen is up next. UK Athletics is still making great strides in building a successful, comprehensive athletic program. This could not have been achieved without support of the fans, donors, and sponsors. UK Athletics and UK IMG Sports Marketing wish to extend this special thank you to our following official corporate partners. McDonald's, Central Bank, Coca-Cola, Gatorade, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kroger, Nike, and Papa John's. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. A brand new year is upon us. The first episode of 2014. And we're so happy that you are ringing in the new year. Here in the Coach's Kitchen, I am Hall of Fame chef, Coach Matthew Mitchell. Pleased that you joined us. Joined by, live on the set today, award-winning chef. And Hall of Fame. That's up for debate. My beautiful wife, Jenna, happy new year to you. <laughs> Hopefully these folks out there didn't booze it up and just oh get God. all wild and wacky over the new year holiday. And I'm sure there's a list of those resolutions going around. Yeah. And a lot of times, Jenna, a lot of times it centers on what? Uh, That's right, help. Yeah. And you want to get the midsection reduced a little bit. You want to be feeling strong in 2014. Yeah. And Jenna, you always do such a great job. It's the seventh season of the Matthew Mitchell Show and seventh season of the Coach's Kitchen. You always do such a great job of getting our new year started off in a healthy manner. So let's dive right in, folks, and let's figure out what Jenna has in store for us to keep us in shape for 2014. What are we kicking in the kitchen today? Are you done? I think so. That was a lot. That I was didn't a good know. opening. You know Do you saying? need more time? Well, let's start. Uh, okay. well, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay. I was kidding. Okay, okay first, ahead. so this is miso salmon. Okay, wait and a minute. Oh, no, 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 first no, question. You've talked so much already. It's time for the recipe. Miso How do you, salmon is miso so... Miso what? Salmon. Are you sure it's not salmon? Okay. Salmon. Salmon. Does the, is the L, is it a soft L? You, you no. don't pronounce the L? Is it a silent L? It's, it's a salmon. Si okay. Anyway. Well, is the famous controversial author, oh my is gosh. it Salmon Rusty or Salmon Rusty? Okay, so this is about a pound and a half of salmon. I had a contract so, in his life. Um, miso you can find Everybody in the knows. refrigerated section. What um, is miso? What is uh, this? It's soybean. Uh, Soybean. Well, you know one of the big crops down in Mississippi where I'm from, soybeans. Used to be cotton, now it's soybeans. Isn't that something? So miso comes from Mississippi. Is that why they call it miso? It <laughs> sort of sounds like Mississippi, miso, Mississippi, miso. No, I think that's a Is stretch. That, that's a stretch? That's yeah. not true? So there's quite a bit of salmon in Boy, here. Boy, you're putting some so, Worcestershire in there, aren't you? No, it's uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Okay, soy sauce. And, and the miso some... looks like peanut butter, folks. Oh, my I gosh. I thought it was peanut butter. Look, that. am I wrong? Am I wrong? Why are you so outraged? It looks like peanut butter. But it's miso from <sighs> Mississippi. Miso. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Miso salmon. We're making some Mississippi salmon in there today, right? <laughs> you know what's good about the salmon, folks, is the omega-3s. The omega-3s... They help you out. Hun, we got to get going here. I know. Well, you, I'm trying to mix and you talk too well, much. Well, let me talk so. to you a little bit about okay. omega-3 fats So, wait. Right that's here. all you do is the miso uh, and the salmon. Am and I off base on the omega-3s? Yeah. Good fat. Help and it. it's a little lumpy, but don't worry about it. Then, So, it's just three ingredients. You put it into a 350-degree oven uh, for about 25 minutes until it's nice and browned up top. Well, we better do that right now. Well, it's out of the oven. Would you look at this? 
Would you look at this miso salmon? Look at that. Is that a, you getting a good shot of that, Mossy? Look at that. It's a little burn around the edges. Let's go, honey. Let's okay. plate it up. Boy, I can't wait to get a hold of some of this. Excuse me. The time. Sorry. Well, don't touch it. The time's rolling on the camera. Well, you have to get out of my way, sweetie. Well, I'm getting a little nasty here in the new year, honey. I thought one of your resolutions might be to treat Coach Mitchell a little bit better in 14. What do you, what's your thoughts on that? I think I treat you great. Oh, well, I know that you think that you treat me great, but you, in fact, do not. Well, so, could you, could you work? Let me just ask you this. Could you at least work on that this year? Sure, but I think I treat you great. I mean, I'm a nice guy. Look Don't at how great I great? cook for you. Boy, this is I great. take care of you. Mm. And so easy. Only three ingredients. I think I'm forgetting something, though. <laughs> it's like... There might be a fourth. It's like butter. It really is. You see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. <laughs> Listen, folks, if you want to interact Someone's with us, I know right it, it's a doorbell could be ringing. Who knows? But it's just our life right now. It's life in the coach's kitchen. Someone's calling to let you know how lucky you are to have me and that I treat you great. Well, touche. Yeah. Touche. I heard that, girlfriend. We are so <laughs> happy that you joined us for another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. What are we going to tell the good folks? We'll see you next week. Drill we call form shooting. She is right under Coach is continuing to work on shooting. On He's got a drill you need to be doing to help you become else. a better She's shooter. The tip of the week is next. Shot. But first for our McDonald's fast break of the week, it's the Cats hosting Grambling State and out and running. Rhea Goss led six players in double figures with a career high 23 as they win big 109-46. That's the McDonald's fast break of the week. The University of Kentucky Athletics Program has experienced tremendous growth in the past few years. This could not have been accomplished without the support of our official benchmark sponsors. We would like to say thanks to each of the following. Gearhart Communications, Paul Miller Ford, P. Rats, Townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Window World. Coach's Tip of the Week this week. Welcome in, everybody. It's the time in our show where we help our younger viewers become better players. And we have been working hard the last couple of weeks on shooting and just trying to get in the right position. We showed you how to hold the basketball, how to find that air valve and get your hand on the ball properly, how to get your elbow underneath it, and how to get your legs into the shot. We talked about that the last couple of weeks. Here's something that's really good for a young player is that you can get what we call form shooting. A lot of times Bria will come out early. Uh, did I even introduce you? I don't think I introduced you. You did. How rude of me. This is junior guard from Indianapolis, Indiana. Bria Goss, one of the great players in the Southeastern Conference. How could I not introduce you? But Bria gets to practice early and works on her shot and she's really shooting the ball well and she'll just do this simple drill we call form shooting. She gets right underneath the basket and just early on in practice here before she does anything else, she's just getting her legs involved in the shot and she's just getting right up underneath the goal and getting some shots. And so what I like to try to have players do is really focus on this drill and really get down low, really emphasize and using their legs. Bria does such a great job when she gets her hips loaded and she really uses her legs shooting. It helps her with her perimeter shooting, shoots a lot of threes in transition. She's able to get set. She's able to shoot from deep range. That's all because she involves her legs in it. But you can come out and do form shooting, get you a hundred makes before practice. If you're just a young player, you can go out in the driveway and just really work on your form before you do anything else. I think just some solid fundamentals there will help you become a better shooter. So work on your form, make sure you're using your legs in your shot. That's the coach's tip of the week. All right, Coach, so we've talked about it before. It's always tough. Every game is tough in the SEC, but you've got an especially tough matchup coming up with South Carolina. Yeah, South Carolina is rated very high in the polls and always a tough matchup for us. Uh, we have to play them twice every year, and it's uh, become a great rivalry. We have a lot of respect for 
Coach Staley and the Gamecocks, so it'll be a tough game, especially being in Columbia. And when do you expect to get Denisha Stallworth back? We're hoping that, you know, she's starting to round into form, and I think that she'll start being a real big part of what we're doing here shortly. We look forward to that. Well, we look forward to seeing you all next week. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was brought to you by Commonwealth Credit Union, by UK Healthcare, by Safe Light Auto Glass, by P Rats, by the Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, by Central Bank, by Kennedy's Wildcat Bin, by McDonald's, by Window World, and by Paul Miller Ford.